Jennifer Doudna, Professor in Biophysics, Biochemistry, and Structural Biology at UC Berkeley, Nobel Prize winner, and CRISPR-Cas9 pioneer. Growing up, Jennifer Doudna was born on February 9, 1964. She spent her childhood living in Hawaii, where her parents encouraged a life of learning. In high school, Jennifer took her first chemistry class, which sparked her interest in all things science. She participated in a summer studying mushrooms and worms at the University of Hawaii. After high school, Jennifer went on to study chemistry at Pomona College in Claremont, California. This was where she found her interest for research and laboratory work. Afterwards, she continued on to get her doctorate in biochemistry at Harvard University. As a woman working in a male-dominated field, Jennifer often felt the need to prove herself and inspire other young women like herself to have the confidence to make a difference in the field of science. According to an article by Sharon Reynolds, when Jennifer isn't in the lab, she's often attending to her garden where she grows tropical fruit plants native to her home in Hawaii. Women in Science Jennifer is a powerful and innovative woman in science. Myself and many others are inspired by her knowledge and open advocacy for women and young girls pursuing biological and chemical careers. Jennifer often joins other inspiring women to speak on the importance of gender diversity in scientific fields. As a young woman such as myself pursuing a science degree, it is important to have role models to look up to. Jennifer Doudna is best known for her work in biochemistry, specifically due to her work in discovering CRISPR-Cas9, which is a gene editing tool used by scientists to reconstruct an organism's DNA. In 2020, Jennifer and another scientist by the name of Emmanuel Charpentier won a Nobel Prize in the field of chemistry for discovering the revolutionary technology. Currently, Jennifer is a proud founder of the Doudna Research Lab, where she and other scientists work to further develop gene editing tools involving CRISPR-Cas and its associated proteins. The lab has also been working towards the development of anti-CRISPR agents, which can be used to target drug-resistant bacteria. In a recent study, Jennifer looked to identify the class II CRISPR-Cas systems in data sets from sediment, groundwater, biofilms, soil, and some other microbial communities. She targeted uncharacterized genes close to CRISPR array and Cas1. Two new CRISPR-Cas systems were discovered in uncultivated bacteria. These were named CRISPR-Cas-X and CRISPR-Cas-Y. Organisms with no known isolated representatives have Cas-Y encoded in their genes. The image to the right shows the amount of lineages in archaea and bacteria with and without isolated representatives. This points out the large number of uninvestigated biology in such domains. Data was gathered using methods of metagenomics and metatranscriptomics, CRISPR-Cas computation analysis, and RNA in vitro transcription, among a few others. Next steps. Moving forward, Jennifer intends to spend her time working with other scientists in the Doudna Research Lab to continue her work with CRISPR-Cas systems. Doudna strives to teach other young scientists about her discoveries and knowledge of specific biochemistry topics and research and inspire women like herself to follow their scientific interests. In conclusion, Jennifer Doudna has dedicated a lifetime of discovery that will forever change the world of biology and medicine. From being a passionate and curious youth to a Nobel Prize winner, Jennifer Doudna has and will continue to inspire scientists of all ages to ask questions, get involved, and never give up. Thanks for listening.